was the night before Christmas, and all through the garage, or if you prefer, the barn once called the garage. Jerseys were hung, sticks put on the rack, with blockers and pads for Lou and for Lack. The ice was set and Zambonied with glee. To be littered with hats, should a Canuck score three. From the rafters with banners for Linden and Smeal, came the man so jolly, just in red, the real deal. Presents he bought for the players and more, a stocking for Burroughs as he struggled to score. A gift for Alberts when he's riding the pine. And for Zach Cassian, whose number says nine. Some have been naughty and some will get coal. But not good old Lou, who's been solid in goal. 65 shutouts Luongo has to his merit. Would have had more were it not for John Garrett. For GM Mike Gillis, who can't make up his mind. And for all referees, even though they are blind. Even the visitors get a present to pick. Except for Marshawn, because he's too much a dick. Silent was the arena, usually bursting with cheers. Except for the fans concerned with spilling their beers. From towards the cusses, the curses, they came. Lots more each time. The power play came up lame. At the top of his lungs, at the players, he'd shout, This is not the play I was talking about! On Hank. On Dank. On Higgins and Kessler. On Weiss, on Welsh. On not Shea, but Yannick Weber. Merry Christmas, the jolly man shouted. He was finished at last. He even left presents for Canucks of the past. Like that rascal Matt Cook even though he's an ass. And for Trevor Linden, who once threw a man through the glass. To Bimo, to Nazi, and Bert, who did less. The Canucks with the line, the West Coast Express. Merry Christmas, Mason Raymond, who falls for no reason. And to Matt Sundin, who just played half a season. Gifts for the coaches, Crawford, Quinn, and A.V. There were even holiday wishes for good old Rick Lee. Harry Neal got something, and so did Roger Nielsen. But damn straight, the red man ignored Mike Keenan. To Bure, to Ojik, to Adams, and more. For the run to the cup in 94. To the Blackhawks and Bruins against who vengeance we swore. For the slashes, the punches, slew foots to the floor. But truce for tonight, all those holiday reasons. There's plenty of time to fight during the season. Tonight, however, we'll drink to St. Nick. Except for Marchand, who's still quite a dick. Merry Christmas to all, Canucks from near and from far, and especially the fans. Because Canucks we all are! A gift for Albert as he rides the... What? A... And twe... Tweva? <laughs> Tweva Lynn. It's Trevor Lynn who wants to throw a man through the glass. Okay. Lots more each time, the power play came up lame. <laughs> From the banners with rafters. <laughs> mm. Would have been more were it not for John Garrett. Even the pre no, I'm not gonna say this one. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you almost got me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was thinking about it too. like a facial. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Marchant, who's still quite a... <clears throat> the boss is here. Can I say that on camera, the boss here? <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's the boss. I'm not Keep pulling on that bandit. Oh, Matt likes that. I know, oh, yeah, I, like I do enjoy it. There's like a great circle on the side, screen on the side. Okay. Well, I think that's just the glass. Watch out, man. Oh, my goodness, it's so wet here. Lizzie's leg right there. Oh, I, was, oh. I was like, I don't know, there's a green thing. Classic Liz. Okay, okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. <laughs> so, oh, come on, now. you have one <laughs> line. You have come one on. job, JJ. You have one job, JJ. You can't go to the Roxy until you it's do this. Yeah.